Good day, folks. I'd like to show you some more discoveries I've made with the one wire system here. In this example, I'm going to simplify it with using the inverter just to isolate from the mains. So I got my one wire here connected to the diode plug. Some people were asking, hey, if you only get a few volts per diode, can you feed the one wire system on multiple plugs? And yes, you can. And this is what I'm showing here. And I was experimenting. I put two of them and there's the wire here that connects the second plug and I connected them in series like they'd be emulating batteries connected in series so sure enough it's taxed the voltage up so in this very simplified configuration with no capacitors no ground or anything I get a few volts which is not very much but for the proof of concept per plug so what happens is I, it's taxed up at the end here so I've got the meter here on one side to facilitate on the um, on the clip here and the other one is free and I'm going to turn the inverter on and I'm going to show you the meter here and I'm going to touch the last one here like this and see that we get about this much here which isn't very much because I don't have a ground or anything right now. I'm just showing this very basic. And if I connected the first one here, half a volt, see? Because we're not doing anything, uh, you know, you need the ground to start really getting uh, the ground antenna, the counterpoise. But right now, I just want to demonstrate that you stack these and you, as you see, the voltage goes up just like a battery. So that got me thinking, right, like regular batteries. And if you're wondering the battery here, this is what I'm going to get at. So in a normal situation, let's say you have three batteries connected in series, right? And you've got one battery that's got less voltage and current uh, than the others. It's going to be limited by that current at that voltage so all the voltages add up but you're limited in the current of the weakest system now usually there's more that comes to play there's the net there's the resistance of the the dead battery and everything that gives you additional losses and more to work through so it usually ends up even being less but in this situation here the diodes are emulating battery banks when there's so you have a lot less resistance but you've got the same stacking effect so interestingly enough here, what happens is um, obviously uh, in total we have more voltage than the battery is able to supply, but it, it, it's like the equivalent of being maybe, you know, like this dead, this battery here being dead, but it's not. You see, this is a full charged battery with all of its current. But remember when I say to try and find out ways to use systems for triggers and how to limit the current to zero without wasting what we don't need. And in traditional systems, when we use DC batteries, whether we use resistors, coils, fancy switching, whatever, we still end up having losses along the line. We're still closing the loop. And any kind of way we're going to limit, even through uh, regulators and whatnot, we're still going to waste a significant amount of current. And it's always been a challenge of mine. How do, especially with the Bedinis, how can I bring the trigger to as low as I can and work with just pure potential? potential fields so we could do displacement current without paying much for the trigger. Well folks this here is the solution because what happens here is my battery here is full current but because of the setup its output is going to be limited by how much current and as you know just like this this is a near zero current event there's maybe one milliamp as is unless we start charging capacitors at a higher voltage using the artificial grounds where we get 20 40 even 100 or more volts then we can charge capacitors quickly and dump them and convert it to current but putting all of that aside right now just basic with the diode plug emulating the batteries here what I'm getting at is replace this with those little pill batteries, you know, the little 12 volt batteries. Stack maybe up to you to a thousand volts of this so you have a nice field. Now what happens is this is DC, so what you want to do is by having these plugs here in the front, you're actually going to modulate at pulsed DC at 60 hertz, that static. Um, 1000 volt field so it's going to be almost the equivalent of having an electret and you're pulsing it and because we're limited it's a way to make sure that our, our 12 volt trigger batteries 
we still need to pay for a trigger no matter what, but it may be limited to one MA or less, even in the UMs because of the setup here, but we don't care about that. We just want to build up a pure, very high voltage field so we could do displacement current. And that's how we later on through capacitors and whatnot generate. But this is a way of, um, if you need to bring more voltage and you can't do it quite with your inverter in the bush or you don't have a strong enough field just as you would in the AC mains, this is a way of maybe even using half dead batteries, a whole bunch of them in series just to bring up the potential. You pulse it with your diode plug so you're modulating it. So now what happens is you end up having let's say a thousand volts here but at the current of the lowest so even once you get a thousand volts at one milliamp that's getting quite significant so it's another clever way of boosting our current output and being able to charge capacitors even quickly i understand one ma may not be very much but when you start stacking that up and building up the pure potentials that one ma suddenly means a lot more than one ma 1.5 volts if everyone's following me so to quickly demonstrate, it's still running, so I'm going to put the meter on this side of the battery here. And I'll show you what I mean if I can hold it properly here. C3.8 volts, 3.9. So it's set to DC, but what's happening here, we're modulating it. So the meter tries to get the average, right? So this would be 3.9 volts. Let's say we have 1 MA coming out of the diode plug. It's limiting us to 3.9 1 MA. So imagine this uh, 1 MA, but at 1 kV, and you're not stressing the battery, which is giving you that pure potential. So I'm going to let you folks, you know, try and get the gears working in the brains to, to, to take it from here. and. I'm sure this is on to something very good if you understand this alternative energy stuff here and how we can convert this to real current. So as always, just putting all the information out there, this might be a much better way of doing it. I keep talking about kits, but the thing is I keep finding something new literally every week. It's getting actually um, frustrating, but a path in the right direction anyways. So with that said, again, thanks for watching and for commenting and helping me out.